Guys, Express here, back with another video. Now this video, we have another redesign video. Post your work in the Discord server, where I go through them, see which one I like, and I'll redesign them. So today we have a nice design from Tomato. His so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Uh, so basically what I'm gonna do is, you see this Japanese text? I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna... A couple of videos ago, I made the logo that I'm now using a lot quite a lot so i'm going to pick that logo make something for me use this use this logo um he has he has still his text style so we're going to copy that layer style and i'm going to put that on my logo over the other text that he made like this text style is like cool simple i like it i like it a lot more um but yeah i'm going to remove his text of course i'm going to put a mine in the middle put it from the side and i'm pressing ctrl h to show them bada bing bada boom there we go there we have it so yeah I just noticed that my mic is hella far away so yeah okay fun uh, and then we are going to you know remove a couple of renders um, boom there it is my main focus is going to be on the text for this for now because we're going to spice it up for a bit i already like what he did with it but i just want to spice it up for a bit his cc is kind of clean i don't know it now he didn't make it himself but it's kind of clean I'm going to maybe make my strokes a bit smaller. Just, just, just any pinny pin. I'm just going to do a, a, a simple Ctrl J to duplicate that layer. And I'm going to right click and of course uh, rasterize layer style. I'm going to put that beneath my um, original text. I'm going to Ctrl T that text and press Alt and make it a bit smaller by dragging the corners. Then I'm going to double click, give it a simple color overlay and I'm going to choose the same color but make the darker version of that specific color okay and i'm going to make it of course 3d so yeah um everyone knows how i do this if you haven't watched the tutorial yet and this is the first video you're watching go and watch the tutorial on how i made 3d text and i'll see you guys uh, in a couple of minutes <laughs> There it is, this is basically it. Simple 3D text. So I'm going to merge those back layers with a Ctrl E, duplicate the top layer, remove the fill opacity, remove the then I'm going to give it just a bit of the spicy colors, put that on overlay, and that is clean. I like I like the way that looks. I like the way that looks. Just with his just with his text um, style effect. We made this with my logo uh, that I commissioned, of course. So yeah, uh, now what I'm going to do is, of course, his nice, clean looking Japanese text. We're going to take that and we're going to, of course, make that a bit smaller, like so. And then we're going to place that, something like that. And then I also need to change the stroke size, of course, to go like a two. And we have his little star which I'm going to place um, below uh, my logo, of course, like that. I'm going to put my logo in a nice little map and call that logo, just for reference. And I want to make this a tad bigger. Okay, and then we're going to duplicate that little star as well. I'm going to place that around here and then we're going to duplicate that again i'm going to place that around there duplicate that again make that a bit smaller to place that around here like that that's kind of cool just like adding them everywhere yeah that's cool that looks cool that looks that looks kind of cool okay um, I'm going to also put them in a little tiny little map and then we're going to take uh, a nice render that he has chosen of course uh, which one uh, am I going to choose I'm just going to through them of course through all of them that he has chosen this is kind of cool this maybe we can put this in um, the foreground I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll put them um, above my text 
this one is also a really nice fit like close to the text and then we have the main one right there because the text in my opinion is always the main focus of head then we have one more so i can maybe use her for the background um and then he has these little grunt that little that, that grunge effect that can work i'm going to put it behind the main characters these little ripped paper textures um th those fit i'm going to maybe add, adjust the position a bit he did originally just did a um simple uh, white background but i'm going to spice that up i'm going to make a new layer above the background and i'm going to choose the left side to have a nice color of course that purple kind of color like so and then the ripped paper texture doesn't really fit anymore but the grunge still does you can of course put that grunge on the left like so that's kind of cool that's kind of cool maybe one we'll wants a red maybe somewhere and there i don't know about that maybe maybe this lighter color linear light and then what we can do is fill the that that space with the same color as that like so that that, that fits that's cool that's that's nice yeah 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 what I want to do with this grunge, I'm going to place it right there, uh, mask it, take my brush and just remove a couple of dabs, you know, and then duplicate that to make it like a bit darker, you see. Now, I want this character, I want it to have a shadow, so I'm going to make a new layer above my backgrounds and everything. Just with a uh, select tool, we're going to take a dark color and we're just going to try and make a realistic shadow of what we think it will look like that's clean I'm going to add a slight noise on that it has like that grainy texture that i want and i'm going to take my brush and just going to add a little nice dab on the bottom is something from the other side i don't know what i want yet from the side but then we have his uh, random shapes as well with this um yellowish color uh, that yellow color came from the original character also just see that this uh, doesn't fit the original overall style so i'm going to just select that and remove that that is not a rasterized layer we're going to do that like that so but because we're going for the theme like purple and red i'm going to take this and i'm going to make that uh, red but with a nice gradient overlay not gonna lie this looks also pretty sick so we can maybe keep red color cool i'm going to turn that around like so what i want to maybe do with it is like maybe a blur gaussian blur this is kind of cool like this has a lot of depth and perspective which i personally really like okay this is cool this is yeah this is cool okay i don't want to put too many time we also have this one can maybe put that uh, around the text also with of course like a darker purple or a red because I don't, we can add a third color, but I, th I maybe feel like that's gonna be out of place. Uh, now the only thing that I don't like is how she's not like bright and everything. Maybe like add a brightness and contrast on top of that main character. It does the, his color correction is kind of cool. I don't know from what pack it is, but we'll keep that color correction, um, of course, later. Uh, okay, what else does he have? He has his main Japanese text. Um, I don't know. No, it is a different kind of text. Oh, we still have that character or like that. Okay, that's clean. That's clean. That's simple. It's clean. Uh, but his was also simple. The only thing I want to do is like add his um, add his color correction, the whole over color correction. Uh, I just want to do a hue and saturation. Um, maybe pop up the saturation just a tad. I, I try to keep his style, but like expressify it a bit i could still add it add a lot of things but he kept his bandit simplistic so i've done the same with, uh, with my redesign so yeah i hope you guys uh, enjoyed that um of course i want some more redesigns in chat so in the link in the description is my discord server where you can put your work of course the psd file with like media fire or anything on google drive in redesign uh, i'll redesign your design uh, in the next of course video I want to do something else uh, than a header if you have like a poster or a logo or anything like that poster a logo an advertisement 
put that in the chat and I'll redesign it in the next video. If you have any uh, video ideas or you want to see next, let me know down in the comments and see you guys in the next one.